We're gonna do this um, inductively, kind of, right? So we're just gonna build from simple things and build up to build up to this guy, vertex form. Okay. So let's consider something that we know, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna give you how many have I got? One, two, three, four, like six or seven different equations of parabolas, and we're just gonna investigate their different properties. Okay. So the standard vanilla parabola is y equals x squared, and it has a vertex. Where's its vertex? It's at the origin, right? The vertex is at zero, zero. No big deal. Okay. Now, the most familiar way we have of shifting this thing is left and right because it's in a factorized form already, in a sense. Right. So here's another different version. If I just say x minus one or squared and give it to you in a nice, neat factorized form. Okay. Its vertex has shifted over, right? What direction has it moved in? Right. To the right. It's moved to the right, okay? And you can quickly see, like, x equals one is the root. That's, the, that's where the vertex is, right? So I've got the vertex at one, zero, okay? If I take away something, I go to the right, then it stands to reason if I add something, again, to modify, which way am I going now? No. I'm going to the left, right? Where's the vertex this time? Okay, so it's negative 2, and I haven't gone anywhere vertically. So, so far, so good. Okay. Now, let's take this x plus 2 all squared guy. Right? Now, if I write here in this form, x plus 2 all squared, and if I add 3 to this right-hand side, okay, if I add 3, then it stands to reason that my vertex, which used to be here, is going to go up. Right? So the vertex is now going to be negative 2. Three. Yeah. Right? Three? I can read. It's okay. That's the number I meant to say. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I want to clarify what's going on here, though, just like I did oh, no. sort of over well, here, yeah. right? Which is that plus three, right? The plus three. The three is really modifying the y. It's a vertical thing, right? So to clarify that, I'm going to do this. You see that? Okay. So I can read off the vertex of this thing negative 2, 3, by looking at these numbers. Negative 2, because that's the x, that's the one that comes first. I've flipped it around. And positive 3. You okay with that? So, so if you have a vertex, you can figure uh, out the equation. Yes, that's exactly right. What? Almost. I'll, I'm not quite finished yet. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. There's different ones. Okay. So, let's think about this a little more generally, right? I read this off by reading these numbers in reverse, as it were. Right? So if I want to generalize and go in the other direction by saying, well, what if I have a vertex? And just by convention, I honestly am not entirely sure why they do this, but anyway. They choose these letters for the coordinates of the vertex, right? Who knows? Maybe. Maybe there was some real classy, honky mathematician who was, you know... was at the bottom of China, and Chinese people are good at math, so it's at the bottom... Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll just. Are you sure it's at the bottom of China? Just, just keep, keep digging, Doris. Okay, now. What I'm going to say is, right? Here is. Here is an original parabola, right? I've moved it to the right h units, I've moved it upwards k units. Right? I can, by the way, I can tell you why it's not I. It's because I stands for something else important. Okay, so that's why they've skipped over it. And J also. So, what are we going to do here? I've got the Y part. It's moved upwards K units. So this should be Y minus K. You see that? Okay. And exactly the same way, I've got X minus H. So why don't we keep the K or not? Why don't we keep it over here? Well, I think clarity there is, um, hmm, how do I put this? Um, I think it's debatable. I see your point. I agree. I mean, when I, when I learned this for the first time, I think this looks a lot more obvious that it's like a plus means you're going up, right? The problem with that approach is that it doesn't bear out doing these things, right? Like there's no way to escape the factorized form of x plus whatever squared. And it takes you, if it's a plus, it takes you that way. So you have to come to terms with things going backwards the way you think they are. Either way, there's no way to avoid that. And so the thing that I think people will like about this mathematicians anyway, is they see that's modifying the x and that's modifying the y. So that's why there's a horizontal, there's a vertical. So there's a symmetry to that form which you miss if you write it like this. Okay. Okay.
All right, now, there's my vertex at HK, right? If I wanted any parabola that had that vertex, because there's a whole bunch, right? For example, uh, that's x squared plus one, that's a specific one. So if I put, and you can actually maybe draw this alongside with me, right? If I have a parabola and its vertex is HK right there, okay? There is an infinite number of parabolas that all share that vertex, right? For example, um, if you if you went if you went upside down if you flipped upside down like so, same vertex, right? What would I do to that, by the way? How would I flip that upside down? I would want to modify. Where would I put the minus sign? Oh, not the no, the X is the X Okay, I'm just going to pause there. That is such a good question. There's a variety of places you can put the negative sign here. I will let you have a think about where you think it might go. And why or why not? I'll give you an get see what I did there. I'll give you an answer by the end of the lesson. Okay, but it's not hard to empirically show. So you know when you put like the minus X on a on a parabola? Yes. It's concave Yes. So technically it's like that whole thing times by a minus sign. So there's yes, yes. Sign the okay. So there's more than one place to put it, but I'd yeah. just like to suggest there's a better place and a poorer place to put but it. But technically, doesn't everything just affect the y? Because if it's no, 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 no. So I can I can add or subtract anything I like in here, right? And it will not have any impact on where it's going vertically. It will only have an impact on where it's going horizontally. But won't that I'd like you to compare these two. You compare them, you have a think about it, you go away and think about it, and think about the difference between them and what difference vertically there is. I'll just leave that question with you. Okay. Now, I've got these two, they share this vertex, but I'm missing infinitely many, right? Where else could I put a problem? Yeah, I could just make this thing like steeper, right? Or I could make it fatter. Okay, so now I could go sideways, but in order to do that, I'd have to do something a little more fundamental. I would have to switch my x's and y's, right? If I want something to be oriented a different direction, I'd have to do that, okay? But all of these guys still have this form with one difference. Here's my last one. Y minus k. This shares the same vertex, right? It shares the same vertex. But that factor of A, just like this factor of A, is changing what is happening in terms of squashing or squeezing and making it you know, thin or fat. Okay? Um, so this equation here is not just a parabola, it is every parabola whose vertex is HK. So Does that make sense? Parabola, it no, no, it's correct. It's just where A is equal to 1. Right, it's just a specific one. Just like all of these are specific parabolas. This is a specific one too, but this one is a whole set of them, depending on, and I guess you could put this over here, depending on your value of A. Okay. All right, so that's vertex form. Now, just really quickly, right, how do you get to vertex form? Well, this morning we were looking at the general form, and the way we got out the quadratic formula was we, what did we do to it? We, we, made made we made x the subject, we completed the square to make x the subject, right? I want to pull you back to this example that we did, okay? Now, you could probably, um, there we go. You could probably have a look at your working this morning and see the parallel, but let's just do it again for the sake of it, and you can see the logic. We won't even have to go as far as we did this morning, okay? What's the first thing I can do? Remember, this is in general form, that right-hand side. What's the feature that's really obvious in general form? The There's only one. It's the y-intercept, right? So to make that obvious, I'm going to kick it over here. You see that? Okay. It's a bit mean, but anyhow. He'll be fine. He'll survive. Numbers are resilient characters. So I've got my, my y minus 6. So I'm trying to get toward this, right? You see that? Okay. What have I got to get over here? I, I need a square, don't I? You see that I've got a perfect square here, which is why completing the square is important. Oh. Now you remember, you remember the number that we added, didn't we? You halve and then you yeah. square. You halve and you square. So it's, it's 25 on 4, which is 6 and a quarter, I believe. So we add that to both sides. Okay. 
Now, on the left hand side, <coughs> excuse me, that's pretty simple. You can just crunch that through, like so. Okay with that. And on the right hand side, I have my square that I wanted, right? This is x plus, what was it? Two and a half, right? Yeah. Two and a half. Okay. I'm done. We went further this morning because we wanted a solution for x, right? But if all I want is the vertex, I have it. Do you oh, see it? That's awesome. There's my x coordinate of my vertex. It's negative two and a half. And there's my y coordinate of my vertex. It's no. negative a quarter, which is not that surprising because negative one, negative two, negative three. If that's where your two roots are, right? Because my two roots are so very close together, there's no opportunity, being that it's monic, right? There's no opportunity for it to drop very far. It's only got this tiny little space, right? And by the time it gets halfway across, because it's symmetrical, it has to turn around, okay? So you've got negative two there, negative three there, and negative two and a half right in between, right? And negative a quarter is how far you've dropped down. Not very far, but that's because it's small, okay? 